And so here we have Louise again, another top professional rider. And uh, she's showing us yet another shorter, perhaps bolder approach and path to get to Jack Wednesday, right inside that great big rock that which was great. So Helena, she's taking a, a greater risk and hopefully it's going to pay for, well for her. And again, she made the cut inside that rock and she's heading for the bigger and the vertical side. That's a very tall vertical and a very vertical vertical, no ground lines at all. That's a very difficult jump for a horse to jump in good style. Her horse handles it beautifully and out of style. And again, you're getting a great sense of how quickly and efficiently Louise is getting from each jump to the next. It's interesting the count strides maybe from that green standards to that tall vertical. I think she did one less stride than some of the other riders. And again, good jumping effort, maybe a little questionable jump in there at the triple, but again, good, uh, good style all the way through, prompt right to the middle panel and right up over the right. Louise is such a great forward rider and such a great risk taker, and that's what these classes are about. Uh, we're trying to develop boldness and uh, the ability to take a shot. Don't you ever tell me he doesn't have enough stride to do that again. <laughs> And that certainly was a little bit at the last time. That was. And then again, the interesting thing about these classes, too, is these horses are getting judged the moment they come into the ring until the moment they leave. So just clearing the last jump isn't enough. You've got to make sure that you've got a nice finish and back out of the ring. So keep watching even after the last jump. For an 88. Maybe it helped in the end. I don't know. Yeah. Was that handier or I not? I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah. just something different, you know. All right, so here we have Jennifer Waxman on her horse falcon. Yeah.